All right, guys, Steve here with another finger burner video to save you getting your fingers burnt by another digital agency. I've got a struggle on this week. I've got a sore throat. I think I'm losing my voice, but I've got to soldier on because um, I, I carried out five performance reviews yesterday. It's really fresh in my mind what I was looking at. Um, so uh, the, the five performance reviews are actually for the, the same uh, prospect. Uh, they're being managed elsewhere, as you would expect in a finger burner video. And um, it made sense that he had five different accounts because there was a lot of money being spent and the different areas of the business and that's fine but what I wanted to address in this video is that there are always telltale signs that your agency are out of their depth I mean there were so many things uh, wrong in this performance review but the one I wanted to address today was one that you could spot quite um, easily, and that was um, the, the, his agency's use of shared budgets in his account. So, you know, in any given account, he might have said, right, okay, here's 100 pounds a day to, to spend on my campaigns. And rather than, God forbid, manage the bloody uh, campaigns, what they've done, they've taken 100 pounds, they've gone, all oh, right, well, let's, uh, let's just kind of, what we got here, 15 campaigns, right, shared budget, bang, we'll come back another time, have a little look at this account. And <clears throat> so frustrating because what, you know, not every campaign uh, is, is the same. It's not going to have the same cost per click. It's not going to have the same cost per conversion. And that was definitely true in his account. So if you, if you can imagine uh, all your budget comes in at the top. Uh, you've then got your campaigns that eat up most of the budget because they're getting the most search volume. Um, then the ones that get less search volume and they're getting a little bit um, of the, the, the budget that's not been eaten up already by the top ones. And then you've got the ones down here. And... The problem is, is the ones down here and the ones in the middle tend to have a very good cost per conversion. The ones at the top with all the competition with the higher cost per click and so on, they're the ones getting all the clicks and spending all the money, but the cost per conversion tends to be much, much higher. And it definitely was the case uh, for, for this um, prospect yesterday because the cost per conversion at the top was £200. The cost per conversion down here was £20. So... Flipping out, you know, if, if they'd have just reallocated budget from those top campaigns to those bottom ones, he could have got 10 times as many conversions per day uh, than he was getting. Uh, and uh, I mean, I've done this performance review for the, the entire year to date. So this is a, a, a reasonable level of um, a time that this has been going on. And I, you know, there were thousands of pounds that I could easily say, oh, right, look, what, yeah, this has been done here, this has been done here. But it's not the thousands of pounds spent in the, in the clicks. Uh, in the ways to click spend, it's that opportunity cost because th this this guy's um, uh, uh, sort of uh, jobs they're they're not they're not cheap jobs. You know he can easily quote fifty grand plus for a job, and can you imagine how many conversions he's missed out and the inquiries each day, every day for the entire year to date? What that has actually cost in terms of uh, lost revenue and lost profits uh, in the in the business? It's it's mind blowing, uh, it really is. And it's, it's because the agency were lazy and it wasn't their money and they were happy just squandering it and not really paying any close attention. So that's the lesson for this week, folks. Um, that is the lesson. If your agency are using shared budgets, kick them out the door because they do not want spending money with because they cannot manage an account. If you want to know any other telltale signs, just uh, comment in the, um, uh, in the boxes below and I'll uh, be more than happy to help.